Would Nathan Prescott please come to the front office? Thank you. Hi, Miss Grant. Excuse me, Max. I know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition, but would you do Miss Grant a favor and hear me out? Sure, I always have time for you. What's the petition? David Madsen, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high security penitentiary. David Madsen doesn't need another excuse to harass students here. Max, this isn't about personalities. This is about protecting civil rights and our school's legacy of freedom. Blackwell Academy has a noble heritage, from the Native Americans who founded this land to the pioneers who shared it in peace, not fear and violence. The Native Americans? The tribes who were here first, who welcomed the settlers. Both cultures found a mutual symbiosis and thrived. Now before I assign you homework with this lecture, will you please sign the petition to keep our campus from going back to 1984? Miss Grant, I totally respect your passion and knowledge, but some security cameras make me feel a little safer. I'm not against security, Max. We should all be concerned when private space becomes public. Your generation has been tricked to think everything should be recorded. There's Hayden in his Vortex Club harem. He sure is living the dream. Hey, Hayden. There she is, the retro selfie master. That's me, all right. You look relaxed as usual, Hayden. It's a skill one cultivates at Blackwell, especially when one represents the Vortex Club. Not to boast. What the hell is the Vortex Club anyway? It seems so elitist. Only if you're not cool enough to get in. And it doesn't hurt your resume. If you say so. I do. But you should actually come hang with us one night, then you wouldn't be so inclined to gossip. You mean hang with a Vortex Club? That sounds like a setup to a horrible prank. Chillax, paranoia girl. We're not that desperate for fun. We know how to do that on our own. It seems weird to think about partying with all those Rachel Amber posters up. You're high. Rachel used to hang out with us too. She was a blast. Smart, not bitchy like, you know. Do you really want Nathan Prescott to represent? Oh, please. Nathan is like everybody's voodoo doll. Kill the rich kid. He's all right and a fun guy to hang with. Fuck the haters. He seems genuinely unstable to me. Nate has his extreme moments, but don't we all? I don't know yet, Hayden. So you knew Rachel Amber? I knew she liked to party. <laughs> Fun to be around. Oh yeah, and she was hot. Did Victoria like Rachel? She seems like the jealous type. Don't think you know Victoria so well. She respected Rachel, even if she didn't act like it. What do you think happened to her? Um, uh, whatever happens to people who disappear without a trace. Rachel was actually a member of the Vortex Club? No, Rachel was like her own club. She was actually too cool for us. And I'll deny I ever said that. Let's talk later, Hayden. Bye, Max. No, I have to get my chemical on and study. We should get you and Dana out one night. Prook actually has a drone? Hi, Brook. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? Is that really yours? Is that even legal? Of course. Nobody knows about it yet. 
Isn't it considered a weapon of war? Uh, you read too many conspiracy sites. This might be too complicated for you. Funny, Warren said you were smart. Please, step back. Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. I'd love to. I love planes and balloons and... This is neither. Do you know what a drone really is? A weapon, right? Uh, you read too many conspiracy sites. This might be too complicated for you. Funny, Warren said you were smart. Please, step back. I'm almost sure Warren has the same bag. It looks a bit nerdy, though. What a complicated name for such a tiny drone. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. I'm sure this poster has stopped millions of bullies. And this is where the otters perform their aquatic magic. Otter power? I'm so not there. They sure get a lot of mileage out of otter power. Oh, that's not nice. Poor little otter. Ew, gross. At least switch to E6. There's Justin and his skater posse. They're so cute doing their tricks. Yo, Justin. Check out the Max. Come to Thrash? Thrash? You mean stage diving or? You're such a poser. If you can't even name a simple nose slide or a tray flip, you should walk on. Yo, Justin. Check out the Max. I came to nose slide, but I'd love to see somebody do a tree flip. Oh, sick. You're not a poser. Nah, I just can't skate worth shit. Oh, check it. We're gonna destroy some rails for you. What do you want to see? Go for a tree flip. Let's get Trevor all over that action. Oh, ow. Oh. You can watch us destroy these rails. Nope, I don't want to go there. I've never seen so many missing persons posters for the same person. I could go for a burger now.
I bet the Blackwell founders would shit cats if they saw today's student body walking around like zombies on their phones. This is a great image. All those rippling green coins. I hope everybody got their wish. Stella always looks so serious and dedicated. Good for her. Hey there, Stella. Hey, I know you. You're the new quiet girl in Jefferson's class. Isn't he incredible? He's aloof. He seems like he's always above you. Not like a snob, but like you don't know what's in his head. Maybe. Mr. Jefferson just has his own style. If Victoria wasn't all over him, I would definitely make a move. Victoria is pretty obvious. I don't think Jefferson is into her. I don't think she's closed the deal, but she's not the only player. Now, how do you know this? You have a lot to learn here at Blackwell. Rachel Amber absolutely had sex with him. Well, I heard that from a good source. So, you knew Rachel? Not really. I saw her hanging with the other cool kids like Victoria. Not my kind of clique. But I heard insane stories about Rachel. That's so cool that Blackwell is doing a show of Mr. Jefferson's work. Mr. Jefferson has such a gift for different styles. I think his name is Evan. He always looks so intense. Hey, Evan. Mind if I check out your cool portfolio? Let's see if you're worthy of it, Max. You'll have to answer a simple question. Who photographed the famous falling soldier? Isn't it Robert Dornell? Oh my. You can't even tell the difference between street photography and photojournalism. No portfolio peak for you. Hey, Evan. Let's see if you're worthy of it. Robert Kappa, of course. I love his work, despite the controversy about that photo. My, my. This quiet child knows things. That's why I'm here. You're a kindred spirit, Max. Would you care for a perusal of my portfolio? It's not a privilege I grant to many. I'd be honored, sir. Evan's portfolio always looks so uber pro. I'd love to see his photos in there. Hi, Evan. As you can see, Rachel Amber was my favorite model here. She knew exactly what angles worked best with my eye. You were close. Like brother and sister in arms. She understood me, never judged me. I hated her vortex club click, but she never acted like she cared. Her friends were her friends. What do you think happened to her? Nothing good, Max. Nothing good. Sorry. I have to get back to my portfolio. I need to go there and grab Warren's flash drive. 